boxing. Vampire boxing. If you asked me for one single thing in YBA that ruins the whole game, I would tell you it's vampire subspecs. Some people say vamp pluck is okay because pluck needs help. No, it's all of these f***ers. If you use vampire subspecs, you're a piece of shit, and I'm about to explain why. As you just saw, in order to show you exactly what I'm talking about, I had to do what I vowed never to do and got myself vamp boxing. Now, let's talk some numbers. In order to kill an opponent that does not have vamp boxing and is solely using maxed out vitality and maxed out boxing passives with the World Over Heaven, it took me 25 M1s. The World Over Heaven deals 10 damage or so every single M1, so that puts your standard player with both of those at 250 HP. Now, when vampire boxing enters the picture, oh boy. In order to kill a vampire boxing player, I had to hit them with 42 M1s. That puts a vamp boxing player at 420 HP, 170 more health than someone using standard boxing. That's almost double the health. But it doesn't stop there. Some of you are probably saying right now, and rightfully so, that I used the World Over Heaven to calculate this damage, which means that it hit through the 25% damage reduction passive. And you're right. With that damage reduction passive, and the extra health, and the blood bar, you have to deal an effective 530 damage to kill someone using vamp boxing. You thought we were done? Nope. Vampire also grants the user 20% damage to all of their non-stand moves. In other words, Jawbreaker and Otherwise gets a 20% damage increase, and they also get a minor speed boost. And finally, every time that they kill someone, they gain back blood. So if you're wondering why sometime later in the video some of the opponents were claiming that they drained their blood, and because of that we should go down to the sewers and fight them, we still remain steadfast in opposing that idea. The takeaway here is, if you're ever running your own events, I highly recommend that you ban vampire subspecs. It's just not at all fair that the people that play exclusively in 1v1s, 2v2s, and these kinds of tournaments get such an absurd advantage over the people who don't want to go through the headache of using the vampire mask and don't exclusively play those game modes. Alright, so that's vamp boxing.